Hi, it's me, Tree. Um, lacking in glasses today. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a mixed media conceptual artist, illustrator, and writer, professional anxious person, public universal friend, non binary queer kid, and squid. And glasses wear, not wearing glasses. I don't know why this is important today, but it is. Funny hat wearer also. Hey folks, here we are again. <sighs> Sorry, out of breath, I just walked back from the labs. I did a good job. I did it quick. Less goosey. But the snow's going away. Mind you, that means nothing, because sometimes we get a fuck ton of snow in April. Wisconsin, yo. Yeah? So hi friends, this is a weird angle. I'm in the car because I had to go get, go visit the vampires today. I know I haven't talked to the camera in a while. It's, it's one of those things that I do not leave an exciting life right now. The most exciting things I do are read, play Stardew Valley, have insomnia, art, and go to the doctor. And so, yeah, and I'm not real good at recording any of the other things. I need to work on that. I guess comment below if you would like to see me play more Stardew and if you would like to see me art. I will endeavor to Twitch things or put them in my YouTube videos. Yes, I'm at a gas station with the window open because it's actually like not too bad where I live. It's like the snow is mostly melted, though, as I said a little bit earlier, that doesn't mean anything because sometimes we get a fuck ton of snow in April. Um, but yes, it, it was just, the labs were just to, they're to make sure my blood is being blood and that my lower intestine is being a lower, in, lower intestine. So yeah. But we're going to get, Gnome is filling up Seth and we're going to get, you know, fat Cokes and donuts. Well, I'm getting a fat Coke and we're getting donuts because we should have more food, because we have not eaten. This is me low-key trying not to freak out about the impending pandemic. It's not working. I think I forgot to mention that I, I walked all the way back from the labs. I don't remember. Hmm. Oh well. to go. You're gonna hate me for making a joke at this moment, but it smells like Captain Picard went into the woods. A what? Earl Grey forest. <laughs> Is that someone that you guys know from before? No, it's a television character. <laughs> Evidently, yesterday, when I said yay that most of our snow was gone, I jinxed us because it snowed. I mean, it's melting again, but it snowed. So between the, the, the snow last night and having gone to the vampires yesterday and several days worth of insomnia because, oh my god, the world is ending, um, I am all sorts of brain fog and body hurt. It's great. I don't know, I really don't have anything to talk about. I mean, the world is ending. I have a con coming up at the end of the month that is likely going to get canceled or rescheduled. 
or I'm going to have to cancel because I don't have the best immune system. And, you know, this is another thing to be doing when you have a crummy immune system. I mean, I mean, the person who runs the con has a point. It's a local con. We are largely isolated because we're in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. However, all it takes is one person, and it's in a college town. And while, and while most people are local when it comes to Wisconsin universities, doesn't mean that's completely true. So... I'm anticipating not going to EgoCon at the end of the month. I mean, it's not a, a huge deal. It's just I've reduced how many cons I'm doing in a year right now because of because I'm still recovering from having been severely ill and still getting my limbs to work correctly. So the few cons I am doing, I'm kind of like kind of upset if I can't go and and or they get canceled. Luckily, the other two cons I'm supposed to do this year are until much later in the year, but that does not mean that they're not going to get canceled also. It's all very rough. And I'm sorry about changing the angle on everybody so much. I am using my phone because I didn't feel like getting out of my camera, and my arms are tired today because I'm having a little bit of a flare so my limbs are particularly unhappy so I keep having to change change arms I don't know I don't know what to talk about altered carbon season 2 is good uh, new pantheon continues to be a delight clear skies is wonderful Ford is currently dead but you know they're still within a minute, so Revivify is a thing that can happen, and also they're, they can resurrect people now, so where there's life, re Jester, and Cad, there's hope. I finished uh, The Twisted Ones by, uh, you know, I don't know if Ursula uses her first name for this writing diploma. Dom diploma. Kingfisher. It's under the last name Kingfisher, but Ursula. Um, and boy, it's the first thing I've ever read by, by Ursula. And it was a lot. And it was wixom. And having, having lived in the South, I mean, not even the deep South, just like the barest edge of the top of the South, which sounds weird when you say that loud. Yeah, I, 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 am a fir I would firmly believe that there is a slippage point between the worlds. Um, right now I'm reading Call Down the Hawk and uh, Preme Mohammed's something the, the Uprising oh I've lost the name of it I'll put it in here somewhere um, and I'm really liking it thus far evidently there is some sort of cosmic horror coming up in it but right now it's, it's very um, it's very coming of age and trying to negotiate those spaces and places in which we grow apart and grow up from our friends so I'm only in the middle of chapter two look at that good stoic boy just taking everything in stride to be like a morph It's the official day one of social distancing and work is taking it well. I finally have started to calm down some and that's because we, well, Gnome 
because I still don't get around real great. Um, because Gnome uh, went supply shopping yesterday, so we have food for self isolation and things like that. And stuff to feed the cats, because that's important. So I guess I will also try and like vlog more though. It's going to be real boring stuff just to let you know because I, it's going to be, you know, me arting and me just babbling incoherently and probably showing you jelly cams. It's going to be a thing. We're going to get through this together, folks. Take care of each other. Check on your neighbors. Share stuff if you can. I have a tiny dinosaur look! Tiny dinosaur! Eee! I named it Earl. This was because El Dorado is the birthplace of magic itself, where the Seelie and Unseelie fairies were birthed into existence. Through trials and tribulations, including parents being rewritten, uh, betrayals by godparents and grandfathers alike, and terrible personal decisions all around. I know you're recording me, human. You need to stop before I eat your soul. Do you need a hand? I have a cookie salad. You want me to hand it to you? Yeah, I think. Here, do you want... You got it? I'm not really okay, helping. Okay, so you done. <laughs> You're supervising Claire, that's helpful. Good job. Bye. The con I was supposed to do at the end of the month has been postponed for who knows how long, considering how things are going. So that was... <laughs> Honestly, it was a relief. <sighs> uh... Gnome and I both have uh, medical conditions that mean that we are more likely to have complications if we get the microorganism. So, best to stay tucked into our homes. Something that is helping me get through all of this is Eric Campbell, who is 16-bit Eric, everywhere that matters, uh, who was one of like the creative directors for Geek and Sundry and is the GM for Streampunks. Uh, during their his live stream on Monday, uh, basically crowdsourced the creation of an interactive RPG that we're all doing on Twitter called Distant Contact. Yeah, can't talk. Which is hashtag Distant Contact RPG. So you know, come join us. Also, also support your artists during this time. Most of us are losing income because our cons are canceled and things like that. And, and yeah, things are going to be rough for us. I mean, I know that they're trying to, to pass a, sti I think they're calling it a stimulus package, but still support your artists. For most of us, you don't even have to get physical goods. You can get digital commissions and get a unique piece of art all for yourself. And in that vein, I have commissions up there. They exist. They are, um, they've been edited. Uh, I even have them up on my website's store, which is kind of exciting because I had to finagle some things to make that happen because I don't know what I'm doing. So yes, if you need a commission from me, please do that. If you are, um, Again, with artists and, you know, me. You can also support us th through things like our Patreons, our Kofis, our Society Sixes, our Red Bubbles. And don't forget to support your, your writers and your musicians. And, you know, just try and do the best you can for everybody. So do good, be kind, be brave. Wash your hands a lot. Practice social distancing. Remain calm. It's the best thing we can do encourage.
Look, you can see a gnome. Look at them work. 